Well, that's sun right there. Did I move too much? No, you're good. Okay. Welcome. Thank you for joining us midweek this week. I never really know what to talk about when they ask me to do these segments, but I'll just talk about something that I'm going through right now and something that I've thought about lately, and it's our transition in life's journey. You know, we transition a lot when we're younger from crawling to walking, feeding ourselves. You know, you can imagine all those clapping when you take your first steps, things that we don't remember. We transition to driving ourselves. That one's a little more scary for us parents, a few prayers of protection for those that we love. But for the most part, they're all joyous transitions and we praise God and we share those. But as I've gotten older, transitions for me are a time of going to God for strength um, and comfort in transitions. Right now, Philip and I are going through a transition. We have two graduating high school. While this is an exciting time for them, it's also a nervous transition for them. Um, we might get a glimpse of empty nesting, so we'll let you know how that'll go. Philip and I have also been through the transition of the sandwich generation. Um, that's when you're raising your kids and caring for your parents. If you're in that transition right now, that's a hard one. You know daily you're praying uh, for guidance and patience, that that is a hard long transition that you go through. When you get older, some transitions are just joyous. You are getting to retire. You're becoming a grandparent. You have built that dream home. Maybe you found the career that you always wanted, or even better, your kids have found a career and you get to praise God for that. I encourage you to praise God and to let people know and share that. So many times we only share the hard times we're going through, but God wants to walk through all life's journeys with us. Some of us are walking through journeys that we can't see the light at the long road ahead of us. Maybe we've been married for many happy years and we're now divorced. No one is ready for that transition. Maybe we've lost a spouse. No one is ready for that transition. Maybe we're transitioning from someone's spouse to their caregiver. No one's ready for that transition. So we're all going through transitions. We have some that we're praising and some that we're really on our hands and knees and praying for strength and guidance from the Lord. For all of us in transitions, I have this Bible verse for us. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So my prayer for all of us is that we can find God's peace in all life's transitions.